Flight by Lloyd Mifflin, read for LibriVox.org by Antoinette Griffin. Orlando, Florida, June 16, 2011, www.storieswithantoinette.com Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon story myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Bob Gonzalez, Tampa, Florida upon a cloud among the stars we stood the angel raised his hand and looked and said which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to the still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head i spake for then i had not long been dead let me look round upon the vasts and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Corrie Samuel Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, Whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs, ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide." He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin 
Read for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in June 2011. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I speak, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin. Read for LibriVox.org by Fred de Berardinus. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This poem is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Goldfish Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look around upon the vasts and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug Perth, Western Australia Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon these vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world. For yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin. Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? 
the still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin, read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs, ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. And a poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org By Maria Grazia Tundo, Bari, Italy Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world, of all yon starry myriad, shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his hallowed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vast and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauty shines, and with soft splendor now incarnadines her wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesterday you died. And the poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin. Read for LibriVox.org by Ruth Golding. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Raven Notation 2011 RavenNotation.wordpress.com 
Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world, of all yon starry myriad, shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spherial music round his hallowed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings, there would I go, and there abide? He smiled, as one who some child's thought divines, that is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Steve Smith St. Louis, Missouri Upon a cloud among the stars we stood, The angel raised his hand and looked, And said, Which world of all yon starry myriad Shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs, ere I decide. What is yon lower star, that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines. That is the world, where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lloyd Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Tricia G. Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp whereon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vasts, and brood a moment on these orbs ere I decide. What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, and with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines, That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Flight by Lord Mifflin Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas McKenney Upon a cloud among the stars we stood. The angel raised his hand and looked and said, Which world of all yon starry myriad shall we make wing to? The still solitude became a harp, whereupon his voice and mood made spheral music round his haloed head. I spake, for then I had not long been dead. Let me look round upon the vast and brood, A moment on these orbs ere I decide, What is yon lower star that beauteous shines, And with soft splendour now incarnadines our wings? There would I go, and there abide. He smiled as one who some child's thought divines, That is the world where yesternight you died. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.